Now with our little raised panel, we've got the uh, same as before, it's, it's a lot of cut uh, end grain in inverted commas MDF. Um, I don't really do anything special to prep that. Um, you've got to be very careful with it. I don't know if you can see in this light, but I run a, a little bit of sandpaper. Where is it there? Um, a little bit of a brace along that edge. And you can see the difference between that one and that one in the light. There's a much more clearly defined edge there than there. So you've got to be quite careful with it. What I tend to do is just take a little bit of a brace. So this is 120 and just clean up that first edge there. Very carefully because you don't want to round over the top. And then we can just paint that in the usual way. Sash brush again to get in over that uh, raised panel. The other way is that you can see it, I? Sorry. Obviously, you'd have a rails and styles around this normally, so I am doing a bit of a cheat doing it this way. And obviously, if you cared about the table that you were working on, you'd put something down. panel. It's just a six inch roller again, nice and easy. Right, pop that to one side. And then finally for the paint we've got a little plywood panel. Now when you put a water-based finish on plywood or any, any wood, the grain always raises slightly. So I'm just going to give this a little rub over. And some P120. We'll also give the edges a quick rub down as well. Which one are we using? This one. The pippy one. Okay. So again, no, uh, nothing special here. Set a primer. Work the roller both ways. Obviously, you need to deal with that little pippy bit in the middle there. I was looking a bit furry, it wasn't one of the ones I sanded. And again, we'll pop that to one side to let that dry. Okay, so now we're going to try uh, with our beach veneer and our birch plywood with a clear polyurethane lacquer. Um, 
I say I've never done uh, peach veneer before, so I think I'll give that a little, a little rub over first. Obviously, it's very thin veneer, so uh, you wouldn't want to go near this with an actual sander. So I'm just using, where are we, P180 grit on a little sanding pad. See how that goes. Now we do the same. I know from past experience, the birch does raise the grain a lot in the first coach. So I'm expecting to need to dig out the sander for. Uh, I tend to use this, it's uh, Junker's strong clear satin finish or semi-gloss polyurethane lacquer, it's a water-based quick drying it's used in commercial environments quite a lot. So again, we just go straight in. Again, sort of across the grain to start with. See how much that's darkened down, and it won't stay like that, it will dry back a little bit lighter. It's elegant, wasn't it? to one side to dry as well. Really applying any pressure with this, We're just getting the most even application that we can. Just to try and get an even finish to the surface. Obviously, I can't do the end grain with this because there ain't none. 